that was me attempting to play Ballad of the Windfish from Link to the Past on my hand ocarina. I can't go too loud because then my mother would probably yell, Why is that noise? Because she hates high-pitched noises. It's so funny, when I play my actual ocarina, it's exactly what happens. I'll just, the first note, Tom, what's that noise? So, I yesterday spent three hours installing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. While I was waiting, I played Link's Awakening on this Switch because I wanted to beat it. I wanted to 100% it. And I did. And, oh, I love that game. When the staff's, when the staff's credit hit, that, that music, man, oof, it was like... <laughs> I listened to it like six times today. It's so perfect. Uh, I just just go to YouTube and type in Link's Awakening staff credit song. And oh God. It gets me so excited. It makes me so happy. There's like a part in it where it goes into the old eight bit version of the song. Um and it just it just happens seamlessly. It's like full. It's like orchestrated, real like real sounding instruments, and then it goes in. Then it goes back into the actual music with like sweeping. Oh God, it's so good. I want to listen to it again. I'm gonna to listen to it as soon as I'm done with this video. But anyway, 100%. I got all the. Uh, Collectibles, hard pieces, um, and uh, so it's such a good game. I'm so happy. It's not my favorite Zelda game. It's pretty easy, but it has, I don't know if I've said this before, but it, it's it's my favorite soundtrack out of all Zelda games. It has the best music. It has the best um, alterations of the theme, and, and all. I love the music, man. Has my favorite overworld theme song. It has my favorite uh, theme song because all the Zeldas have different theme songs with the same with one theme in the middle of it. It's like the dun 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 dun. But like each game kind of makes variations on that. So yeah, Teen Titans Go is stupid. So you don't even need to bring Teen Titans Go up. So I went to a uh, a club on Saturday night uh, with Jess and a few people, and on the way back, obviously I was the designated driver, but on the way back, um, I guess somebody was hot in the car, so they opened the window, and I didn't know that they left the window open, and it rained a lot yesterday. It was like open this much, but that was enough to make the back seat soaked. There was a pool in my, like, I have the all-purpose mat in the back, and uh, there's a pool in that. No, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm mad at myself for not checking the windows before I closed them. Uh, but not checking that I closed the windows before I got out of my car. So, yeah, I spent like 15 minutes once I got to work, like, patting down the whole thing getting as much water out as I can. And then on my way home from work, I blasted the heat. I was like unbearably hot. I was sweating, but just trying to get some heat into the back seat of the car. And it worked pretty well. Um, it's a little, little damp now, but for the most part, it's all gone. And then I took a shot back to it and I just tried to soak up as, uh, catch as much water as possible. <sighs> but that sucks. Call of Duty. So I'm probably gonna play after this well, after I listen to the staff's, uh, staff's credit roll theme song because it's so good. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to see if Danny and uh, Pagley are playing. And then I'm going to play probably. I do not have a positive KD, obviously, naturally. But I don't think it's too bad. I don't know what it is, but I don't, I don't remember it being too bad. I went like... 
I only got to play like four games. I went super negative the first one. I was only, I think I went 11 and 13 the second one. I think I evened out the third one, and I was probably pretty bad on the last one. I don't remember, but we'll see how today goes. But it's cool. I like it. It's uh, It's got good graphics. Gameplay's not bad. The... The spawning in the game is stupid. I should not be able to spawn in front of somebody already shooting in my direction. Like, don't spawn me in the war zone to die only when I step one foot in front of me. Like, don't. But that's probably all I have to say bad about the game. I need to play it more so far. But I will have more... Um, Thoughts on it when I play it more. I only got to play it a little bit last night. I broke my promise. I watched the Star Wars trailer. And I'm not any more hyped than I was before I watched it. So my brother kind of, my brother Alan kind of, but I want to talk to you about it. Tom, come on, I cried, blah, blah, blah. And I watched it, and I'm kind of mad that I watched it because if what I think is going to happen in that C-3PO scene is going to happen, then I'm so mad it's in the trailer. But anyway, uh, my question of the day is, did you hear that they're doing a Clark Kent and Lois Lane show that's going to take place in the Arrowverse? I think it just dropped today that that was going to... Here it is. There's my yawn. I think it just dropped today that that's going to happen in the future. So, What are your thoughts on a Superman or Lois and Clark type show uh, in the Arrowverse. Were you introduced... I don't remember if you watched Super Bowl. Were you introduced to Tyler Hochin as... Did I, I probably butchered his name. Uh, as Superman yet? Hey everybody, thanks for making it to the end of the video. You're my best friend. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications when we post new videos. Stay tuned every weekday for new videos of the 90s vlog. You can follow me on Twitter at 90s Guy Tom. You can follow Kevin on Twitter at 90s Guy Kev. Follow both of us on Instagram at, you guessed it, the 90s guys. And with that, you'll see me next time. Do do do, do do do, do 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 do. Do do do, do do do, do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do